Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a jean jacket. So first I took a jean jacket I already own and marked out different sections with the initials of the colours I want there. And I did it all the way around the jacket. So I went ahead and sketched out the entire design of the jacket on a piece of paper. And I also colour coded it. I'll be making all seven pieces, which are the front panel, the sleeves, the cuffs, the back panel, and these two bands. Each bit has a different color, like the front panels have these two top bits, two pockets, and the sleeves of course have the cuffs, and the back panel has this green triangle. And this band will be sewn together so I get a green band and a brown band, and then I'll use it to hem the bottom edge of the back panel and the front panels. And of course, there's the collar, which will be white. So I'm going to go ahead and trace out the patterns for all of these. For all the templates, I just taped together two pieces of newspaper, then cut it to size. This template here is the front template, and I've already cut it to size. So all I have to do now is add the collar. To start, measure half your next width away from the edge. So for example, half my next width is 2 inches, so I'm going to measure 2 inches away from the edge. Then you want to measure your whole shoulder's width away from the mark you just made. And for females, you want to measure 2 cm down, then connect it to the neck mark. Next, take a t-shirt that fits you well and align the edge of the armhole to the edge of your shoulder mark and fold both sleeves back. Then trace out the armhole. Draw a small dip for the collar and cut it all out. For the back panel, just fold it in half and trace out the armhole and collar. All you have to do is make the collar less deep, then cut it out. Next, we have to make the sleeve down. To do that, take your front panel template and mark quarter away from the bottom. Then align the edge of the front panel template to the edge of your paper and trace all the way down to the mark you made. Then flip your template and align the two marks and trace all the way down. Then measure how long you want your sleeve to be. I want mine to be 22 inches. Now you want to measure your cuffs, which for me is four and a half inches because we're going to be folding it in half, so it just be half your cuffs width. Then align the two edges like this and cut it all out. And trace the entire thing out on a second piece of newspaper so we have two sleeve templates. Then you want to tape the two of them together, straight sides facing. When you have taped it together, that is your complete sleeve template and as you can see, it fits my hand perfectly. Now that we are done making all the templates, take your white jeans and open the stitches all along the middle and on both cuffs. After you are done opening all the stitches, you can see all the extra fabric that was stuck in there, especially at the bottom. Now we are going to cut out the front panel template. To do that, take one leg and spread it out. But before you pin your front panel in place, you want to measure 6 inches from the top. This will be your coloured bit. Then you want to fold the coloured bit back and go ahead and spread your leg piece out again and pin your front panel template down, leaving seam allowance all the way around. Then cut it all out and put it on top of your other leg so we can cut it out and have two identical pieces.
Then take your white jean shorts and remove both of the back pockets. And if your back pockets have these metal buttons, just cut them out like this. And we're going to now measure out our back panel template. And as you can see, there is no way this is going to fit. So we want to open it up like this. So we have a back pocket and a front pocket on each side and cut right underneath the metal buttons. Then flip it the right way up and what we want to do now is open the stitches along the middle and cut the zip out. Now we have two separate pieces of fabric and we want to take our back template and our green triangle template and trace it out. Then I'm just going to cut a straight line and fold the green triangle bit back so we just have the white bit left. Then take both your fabrics and put them right sides together like this and pin them in place. Then sew a straight line all the way along the edge. After you're done zigzag stitching all the way along the edge, open it up like this. Then you want to iron the seam down and sew a straight stitch over it to hold it in place. Okay, so now that we are done sewing the seam down, flip to the wrong side and pin the back panel template down and cut all the way around, still leaving seam allowance. And for the color, I'm just going to be using this waistband and I'm also going to keep this little, this little leather M because it is so cute. Next, you want to take your green jeans and I'm going to save this little tag and also this button. And open the stitches all along the middle and on both cuffs. And as you can see, I opened the wrong side of the stitches but that is okay. Now it's time to cut the sleeves. To do that, take your sleeve template and put it half an inch away from the edge. Then cut a straight line just above the template. And I'm just going to go and iron all these folded bits flat. Okay, so now that I'm done ironing, you can see that the sleeve template just fits in the sleeve. So there is no space for seam allowance. To fix that, take your other leg piece and pin it on top right side facing. Then sew a straight line all the way along the edge. Then you just want to zigzag stitch on the edge so that it doesn't fail. And open it up. And iron the seam down and sew a straight stitch just so it doesn't flap around. Then cut it all out leaving some seam allowance as you cut. Okay, so now that we have finished cutting out the sleeve, it's time to cut out the green triangle. To do that, take your green shorts and open the stitches on the sides. After you are done opening the stitches, cut right below the metal buttons or under the zip. And then as you can see it fits, all we have to do is change the positions a bit. To do that, first take off both of Next, as you can see, it has this weird curve here. So to fix that, open the stitches in the middle. Now we have two separate pieces and as you can see, this is why it has the weird curve so I'm just going to cut a straight line across to make it straight.
then take your other piece and cut off the metal buttons. And put your two pieces together and pin them together right sides facing and sew it in zigzag stitches. Then don't forget to iron it down and sew the seam down. And as you can see, it still has this weird curve at one end. So I'm going to open the stitches at one end of the seam and place it to the side like this and sew it in place. Then all that's left to do is cut it out, still leaving seam allowance. Then take your leftover green jeans and trace out the top bit of the front panel, then cut it out leaving seam allowance. Part 2 of the jean jacket in the description below.